According to the United Nations Environment Program, forever chemicals or persistent organic pollutants, POPs, are hazardous chemicals which threaten human health and the planet's ecosystems. As the Ministry of Planning and Development handed over equipment which can easily detect these chemicals in products entering Trinidad and Tobago, Prime Minister Penelope Beckles and a member of her staff explained what POPs are and how they affect the population. Terran Brown Campbell has the story. Persistent organic pollutants, also known as forever chemicals, are a group of toxic organic compounds that are resistant to environmental degradation and thus persist in the environment for very, very long periods of time. And exposure to POPs, even at low levels, can lead to increase in cancer risk, reproductive disorders, birth defects, and compromised immune systems. Waste management specialist at the Ministry of Planning and Development, Kima Gardner, said there are about five different categories of POPs. She added one type is found in flame retardant products. The Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants was developed as an international or global treaty to protect human health and the environment from these persistent organic pollutants or POPs. So currently, there are about 33 POPs listed under the convention, and Trinidad and Tobago actually signed on to this convention in 2002. Ms. Gardner added, there are POPs in many different types of products. As you can see, there are various items or exposure pathways for the chemical itself, in electronic materials, in e-waste or electronic waste, in food packaging, in furniture, in end-of-life vehicles, etc. The ministry handed over an X-ray fluorescence device to detect POPs in products entering this country to the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards on Wednesday. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.